hi guys on this video let me walk you through how you can successfully punch this stripe in a very directive order all right so let's go into it so firstly i cut out the sole with the shape of the baking stock all right i don't want to make this video long i just want you guys to understand a few things i cut it out so after cutting it out i now brush the little mouth so first of all let me just gum it together don't let it go to be dry don't just so that you can pin the sole to the baking stock understand so you gum it together instantly don't wait it to dry just to hold it you file okay so let's get file so we are done with the filing all right so let me remove it we are done with the filing okay so right now let's leave that one because that one is done you know the baking stock so let's go on to the layer we are using today the stripe this is how i cut it out you guys might be asking what measurement to use, what measurement to use. I already told you before, if you want to use, if you want to do anything, as long as you have your last, because your measurement might be 45 and your last is 42. So, how do you do it? You see, so that's a normally use uh, sizes sometimes. So, you just measure it with your last. Like I've always told you guys, I teach you guys on my video. Stand. So, you cut out the strap like this. Then you place it on the end glass and you mark where you want and where you don't want. You stand. In most cases though, you stand. So that's what I do. But on this one, it's a big stop. And this don't require a pattern. It only requires measurement if you really want to measure it. Okay, so I've, I'm done cutting out the stripe, which you guys already know how to do. Just line, line, line. It's not that hard. So this one, I cut it out just like this you still want to really understand how i did it you go back and watch the video how i started cutting this out okay so you see what i'm talking about then i put it on there then i mark and i cut out that's all i cut it out it makes my work more easier than pattern i'm telling you that's just it okay so after everything I will not bring it again this time around I'm punching as I'm giving mark where I'm going to punch that is if I don't have the pattern so some people have the pattern already punched and know where to do and we are not to you know, we are to punch and we are not to punch you understand okay so but if you just want your work to be you know like you're doing it for the first time you want to get everything right so that next time you know where to punch all that so this is how you do it okay so now i want to punch so after punching i cut you can see So now we are fixing. Remember the belt we are using. All of them are not the same size. Okay. So you start from the back. You can see as it comes down, the belt is getting shorter. You understand? So that's what you're going to do. So the smaller size will be on the foot, on the toe side. Okay. You can see all of the belt are not the same the more it comes down the more it becomes smaller all right so let's continue we'll fix this one again download the best of nigerian beats at www.mixbeats.com
So now let's use our ass and see what we're talking about. Alright. Okay. Nice. Exactly what we did. How the practical led us. That is what he gave us. <laughs> Don't leave that English is correct. Okay, so right now let's file this brush mark. Now we are done filing it, so now we've rubbed our gum and allow it to dry. Okay, so I think So now, let's last. So is that easy? You don't, you don't, you don't just like you know start suffering yourself or pushing it so hard. No, you placed it because the first time the way you placed it, getting the mark to punch, same same thing you're gonna do if you want to last. Okay, you don't draw it unless maybe you know your last already you know how your last works maybe it's 43 44 you know you want to tight it anyhow but if you want to last it you don't draw anything you just leave it there so you can see it's ready so right now you need to apply glue at the side you this time you know it's baking stock so later need to join with the with the sew. so you just apply a little around it all right So when we are done with the glue on the side, when we will now file the the end of the sole, just like you can see, you rub your gum, all right. So after rubbing our gum, then we're going to last it. That's it. That's that simple. Okay. So guys, thank you very much for staying tuned and uh, you know keep your question pumping in. I'll be glad and be there always to answer your guys' question. Alright, take care and see you guys.